So now you visited the X Factor recently and you were yes. speaking to the finalists about dealing with overnight fame because it's such an unusual situation, isn't it? It really is. You're in, in that situation from that show, you're really thrust into this whole new crazy world and there's so many people around you all of a sudden and you don't really know anyone but um, everyone's doing something and it's hard to get your head around it a bit. And especially at, I, I went to go and see um, Sam Bailey and work with her and she's lovely, she's got a great voice, so talented and I feel like you're in this little bubble while you're in the house and then when you kind of come out is when you really feel it. So in the house, I feel like they're kind of protected right now and it's after that that it kind of gets a bit crazy. So you, did you give them, you know, obviously you said to them to try not to listen too much to rumours, did you give them any other advice? Um, with Sam, I literally was um, mentoring her on the song because she sang my song and with her, I think her, her obstacle that she wants to overcome is being able to interpret songs in her own way. And that's kind of what we worked on, her being able to interpret the songs and not just doing kind of karaoke versions of someone else's song, but really making it her own. And that's what we kind of concentrated on. And how did you think she did with Bleeding Love? Do you think she did it justice? Oh, I think she did it justice and beyond. I think she's got a great voice, it's such a good tone. Um, and yeah, I hope she goes really far. I'm sure she will. Who do you want to win? Every year I always kind of back off of this question because I feel like it's unfair for me to say. Um, of course, I love Sam. I think she's great, but that's because I got to meet her and connect with her as a person. But I think all of the contestants, really, it could go either way, um, especially um, with how talented everyone is at this level. and. I think they've all got a really good shot. And was it strange for you going back to where your dream all started and seeing how yeah, the show was definitely. And I was saying earlier as well that going back to the house and the house that they're in now, like how much it's changed from when I did it. Um, it was the third series and it was still a, like we were in like a much smaller house and now they've kind of got huge rooms and practice rooms and studio rooms and a pool and all this stuff that kind of we didn't have back then so it just really made me realize how huge it's grown and you know it's it's incredible and are you proud to have been part of it back because it's quite early days when you took part yeah it was and yeah I, i'm just so thankful for the chances that the show gave me it, you know, gave me a huge platform to showcase myself and um, since then just to be able to go on and do things that I absolutely love. And did you get a chance to catch up with any of the, the judges? Because I think Leo, eh, I think Louis and Sharon were both on the year yes. that you... Yeah, they were. Um, Louis, I, sit, I usually go back to The X Factor and perform every year so this year I'll be going back again I'm sure I'll see everyone and it's always nice to see Sharon as well because I remember her being so lovely and um, I've seen her like a few times along the way as well and I saw her at the Grammy Awards one year and I think it was a bit surreal like to have seen her at the show at those beginning stages and then like I was at the Grammys and it was just a really kind of crazy moment for me. Yeah. You mentioned that you're going back to perform on X Factor. Can you tell us anything else about that? Um, yeah, I'm going to perform my new song, um, One More Sleep, from the Christmas album. So, really excited about that. It's going to be an epic performance. There's going to be lots going on. I've got a really amazing creative director that's working on it with me. Um, and I think it's really going to mark the start of Christmas. Yeah, a very festive feel. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> And just one last expert question. You were obviously mentored by Simon Cowell. Yeah. What do you think about his baby news? I know, I'm so happy for him. Um, I think it's going to be amazing. You know, anyone that becomes a parent, it just, it does change you and it softens you. And I feel like it'll definitely have a profound effect on him. Yeah, do you think he'll give away the kind of Mr. Nasty persona <laughs> and he'll become no. lovely? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I feel like he's going to be that, um, that guy still but probably there'll be a different side to him when he's around his little one. Do you still get to see him quite a lot? Yeah, I see him, um, well, he's doing the American show, so not as often as I used to, but he's the um, he's my a &R guy, so he worked with me very closely on this record, um, and he's still very supportive, and I get to see him um, when he's here as well. 
It's a busy 2013 for you. What have you got coming up in 2014? You've got the film out. Obviously. Yeah, the film's out, which I'm so excited about. I've got some live shows coming up in Asia, which I'm really excited about because I've never got to tour there. So it's going to be the first time doing that. Um, and I'm hoping more live work um, and getting into the studio again. Yeah, and what about other albums? Can we expect any other? Oh, you mentioned before that you were quickly to do an opera album. Is I would that love to do a classical album at some point. I'm not sure how fast that will come together, but I, I did Ave Maria on this record um, in a, an operatic style because that's where the foundation of my training is. So I would absolutely love to do a classical album. Yeah. Well, listen, we look forward to 2014. Thank you. Thank you.